Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On this episode, let's take a look at the privacy settings on your Mac. To find them, go to System Preferences and then choose Security and Privacy. Then choose the fourth section here, Privacy. And here you're going to see all your privacy settings for your Mac. This is the High Sierra version, so if you have an older version of Mac OS, it may look a little different. Now you've got a list of categories on your left and then the controls on your right. So for instance we can look at location services. Which apps have the ability to tell your location and it gets a location from figuring out uh, you know, the Wi-Fi signal where the Wi-Fi routers around you are located and then it kind of figures it out. That's how your Mac knows your location without actually having a GPS chip inside it. So these apps here, the ones that are checked, have the ability to know your location. For instance, Siri knows it uh, so you can ask Siri for directions or nearby restaurants, things like that. Messages knows it and it will put your location there with messages that you send to people. And of course Maps, you can understand why that has that as well. And various other apps may or may not have that ability. And you can control that. You can determine uh, which ones do and which ones don't. So these are all the ones that have requested that ability. But only the ones that have a check mark next to them are the ones that actually have been granted that ability. A lot of times when you install apps or use them for the first time they'll ask you whether or not they can have access to something like say location services. And you can say OK or no. Uh, also notice here for location services you have this little arrow here which you can see indicates the app has used your location in the last 24 hours. So it gives you an idea whether it's actually using it or not. So some of these have not really been using it recently and other ones have. Now notice that this is all grayed out. If I wanted to uncheck something I couldn't because they're not active. The reason for that is I haven't authenticated. You've got this click the lock to make changes here. So I'm going to click that and then enter my password. And now that it's unlocked all of this uh, can be checked or unchecked here. And that's true for the rest of these categories as well. Most of the categories are pretty self-explanatory. Here are the apps that have access to your contacts. So when I installed the Skype app it asked if it could have access to my contacts so I can easily dial numbers by name. Um, and then you look and some of them don't have any but you may find you have some for apps you've installed. Accessibility is an interesting one because it grants access for apps to be able to control your Mac and do different things with them. So for instance Automator you're going to want to maybe do some controls, move the mouse around, access menu items, things like that. And you would have had to grant Automator permission to do that. Uh, other extensions and apps you may have installed like say Better Snap Tool here or Dropbox or Magnet. These all of course it's their very nature to control things in your Mac. So they ask for permission to do that. So not just any app can go and do things like move windows around on your Mac. They have to be actually given permission. And if you want to revoke that permission you can do so here. You also have the ability to add a, an app to this. So typically you don't actually have to use that because the app itself will request permission. But you can actually select one and completely remove it from the list. Also the last one here is Analytics and this is uh, what your Mac has permission to send back to Apple. You're asked this when you first install Mac OS or if you uh, buy a new Mac when you first set it up. But here's where you can actually change your mind and uh, change these controls. So uh, you know Apple collects these things and they're anonymous so they're not uh, uh, really a privacy concern but it helps Apple you know, figure out where there might be problems or where they may need to do improvements. A lot of these have little buttons here where you can at, you know, click on them, get more information if you want. And it gives you lots of extra information and some of them don't. Now the typical Mac user may never need to actually go in here and check privacy settings. Uh, you grant them as the apps ask for them uh, and you can decide then and you really never have to go in and check. Even as a professional Mac user I don't have to ever really go into these privacy settings to check anything. Uh, every once in a while an app may ask me to go in and grant it accessibility uh, privileges so that it can perform the task that I've installed it for. Uh, so I may go in and do that. But besides that uh, you may never even need to go in here. <laughs>